worked for newspapers as a reporter in a number of places in the United States. And then he had an opportunity to come out with Quest Corps to Manila. He must have been maybe in his 30s at that time. He came out here with the Press Corps, and then at some point he met an American man named Carson Taylor, who wanted to found an English language newspaper, or take over or buy one, in, in Manila. And Carson asked Roy if he would be the editor. My father had been a reporter, but he had not been an editor. But he said yes. And so together, they added to an existing newspaper, or they cr uh, created a new newspaper. And in those days, it was known as the Manila Daily Bulletin. My father was the editor of it until the Japanese invaded. If during that time you had ever asked my father who he was, he would have said, I'm Roy Bennett of the Bulletin. As much as he would have said, I'm a man, he would say, I'm a newspaper man. And only a newspaper man can really understand that. He was very critical of the Japanese their conduct in China before the Second World War started. And Mr. Taylor had given Roy Bennett the freedom to manage the newspaper as he wished. My father, I think, had always wanted to be a newspaper man. It became his identity. And he viewed journalism almost like a holy calling. That's all he ever was, was a newspaper man. And that's not little for him, it was his existence. My father totally believed that it was the best newspaper he had ever worked on. He had a part in forming it, and he was very proud of that. I was always told that the Bulletin was the outstanding English language newspaper throughout what we call the Far East, not just in the Philippines. And it was his intention, with the permission of the publisher, Carson Taylor, to continue to make it the best newspaper, the most truthful newspaper that could be made. I understand now the Bulletin is considered the best English language newspaper in the Philippines and perhaps all over. I think if my father were alive today, he would be extraordinarily proud. Just, it's hard to say how much being Roy Bennett of the Bulletin meant to him. That's who he was. He was a father, he was a husband, he was a man other people knew, but at the center, he was Roy Bennett of the Bulletin, and that meant truth. Mm -hmm.